Standard and Cameron with John Pardee right now. Introduce us to the dog. This cowboy. <laughs> and professional cowboy. road dog. What kind, of, what kind of dog is that? He is a uh, Queens and Healer and Border Collie. I've never heard of that. I've heard of Border Collie. But like a red healer. It's cool. Uh, Australian cattle dog. Right. Is he on tour with you all the time? You bring him everywhere you go? Yeah, he comes out a lot. He's fun to have out the road, you know. You just get a lot of downtime waiting around, so it's nice to have somebody to hang out with. He's kind of, I was going to ask you the question, I know you're on tour with Dirk Bentley right now, and Dirk's just adopted a dog on TV mm -hmm. this weekend or, or a week, so I was wondering what you were going to adopt, but obviously you've already got a dog, so is there anything else you might adopt? I got, to try to, uh... I got two more in the house, I don't need more dogs. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go adopt a dog if you want a dog. Is that what you, you adopted him? No. No? <laughs> but he wasn't like a pure breed or anything, yeah, I got yeah, one yeah. Wet, wet rescue dog, so, but you do what you can, you yeah. know. You but you also that? need to think about dogs. You can rescue a dog, but give them a good home. Just like, I did it, I rescued a dog. And then I had to give it away. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> or like, like, never home. Yeah, or uh, he's, yeah. At, he's at the killer right now. Oh. Yeah, people do something like that. Uh, let's talk about the new song. I just saw the video, so tell everybody about the new song. The new song is a lot of fun. It's a good beer drinking song or drinking song. It's got, you know, it's called Heartache Medication. So, it's funny when I came up with the title and I told the people they already knew what I was talking about, like in the, the country world. So, and then we kind of described that how, you know, you're kind of getting up, getting over someone or having, you know, looking to have a good time. You know, I'm drinking one, I'm drinking two, and it's got a great dance kind of feel to it. And it's country, it's got a fiddle intro. Um, so it's been it's been a lot of fun to have people play it and just have people respond to it. And in live, it's been, it's been really energetic life so it's a lot of fun oh it's definitely everything you do is country and i have to tell you my mm. wife who is who's filming over there your music comes on and she always says thank you john party for being country <laughs> because you know sometimes you're like well that doesn't sound like country but john party is always there for it. yeah you dance in uh -huh. this video how did that all come about and how, how did that work for you that dancing you know, great. You do more dancing? I'm, I'm a great dancer. Well, yeah, I and mean, I noticed during the video. Don't care, part. no shame. <laughs> Dancing's fun, everybody should try it. Mm -hmm. um, it was my idea, I called a, about my idea for the music video. I was like, you know, I can drunk cowboy dance, that's cool and everything, but it'd be fun to like work with a choreographer and really kind of like lay down the steps and make it look fun and we're all doing it together and it's not the whole video. It's just, a, we want it to be one little segment that was super fun to watch. And I was like, oh, that's cool. They're all dancing. And you see in the background, they're all dipping and, and spinning. So it actually came out really cool. And uh, it kind of made the, the music video something else that it sets itself apart from other music videos. It and it's like, I mean, so country music videos, they get so out there sometimes, <laughs> right? I mean, am I wrong? I mean, no. This it's one like, is really pretty much it. It's, it, it's where it should be. It's, it's like a country bar. It's every Saturday night. night for some people. <laughs> I mean, you're doing what you got to be doing. Did it take you a long time to learn the dance, or were you already up it on took, it a second? Uh, no, it didn't take too long. It took about four practices. And But a lot of times, the first two, we were doing a whole other dance that we learned that we didn't do. We didn't dance that on the uh, video because we started working with the director, and he would. He was like, this is going to be better. So then once we got that dance, we learned that. And we got it. Who is the girl in the video? Is that, is that That's my girlfriend, Summer. She's my wife's over there, so I got her. She's awesome. <laughs> and, and the choreographer, she's riding She's riding the, the bull in it. And she's really pretty, too. So we had, there was pretty girls there were in the video. Well, she, but she, they all can dance, though. So this is yeah. different. Oh, no, your I, girlfriend was fantastic. No, no, but, no, but the dancer dancers are amazing. They're, I mean, I don't have been around, like, real dancers. It's like... You know, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> are you but you're really are good. Are you a line dancer, Kim? Um, no, I'm not very good at it. I forget after like eight counts. I forget what I'm doing. Yeah, we this one, this line dance is really simple. And it's we just did it for the camera, really. Because usually in line dancing, they, you do a side side, you turn into a side side or a forward forward. We just kind of wanted that look and then it broke into swing dancing. Because I'm, I'm more of a fan of like couples dancing because it's very. It's very moving, like spinning, moving, dipping, mm -hmm. everything. It's more <clears throat> entertaining, I think, than uh, just straight up everybody honky tonk and tonk. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I was too good. He's like, man, his feet go. 
Uh, I noticed in the video, and uh, maybe just allow this because of your girlfriend, she takes your cowboy hat off your head. Uh -huh. Now, when you're normally out places, does it irritate you if someone tries to take your hat off your head? Yeah, well, most of the time they can't reach up that high, <laughs> <laughs> and so that helps. But yeah, I mean, you don't really want to touch a hat uh, being summer. You can take my hat, baby. Whatever <laughs> <laughs> you want, you go ahead and touch my hat. Yeah. So we're heading into football season. We we got our first Carolina Panthers preseason game. Yeah, and you get a new, I saw you get a new stadium. Mm, yeah, potentially. I think it's still up three in the years. Air. I thought there was ground broken in the paper. <laughs> That'll There's a scoop from John Pardee, no, everybody. We broke it right on the front page of the <laughs> whatever newspaper. I think that's a practice. Was it like the a new practice area? Because oh. they want a new stadium, but they want the taxpayers oh. to pay like a $3 billion or something. So. And the taxpayers are like, what's wrong with this stadium we go to all the time? <laughs> <laughs> they sound like, kind of like your parents. You're going, oh, that's just fine the way it is. You it's made great. It. The bathrooms aren't that disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Who are your team? Football teams? Um, well... I think I'm, I'm from Norcastle, the Niners, of course, mm -hmm. and I love the Titans. Um, one of my good boys, Blake Bortles, he was on the Jaguars, now he's on LA Rams, yeah. so I got the Rams. The Chargers have been really cool. They brought me to their practice, uh, you know, practice getting their preseason last year, so I was kind of like, everybody that reaches out and you know, I get to go see them, I always got to give them a shout out. So, um, yeah, those are some teams to watch, um, and I like, I like, I like football. Give me a good football game. I regardless of care about the team. You know, like I try to explain it to my wife. She doesn't understand. It. I and mean, she likes football, but I get I like, it's the season's about to start. You can almost feel it inside your red. Yeah. Right? It's like, yeah, this is this is time now. Oh, I, I, and I've been so busy with album stuff, like I forget that football's even starting. But um, it's gonna be fun. Well, you're doing really well. The music's doing well. So if we need to help pay for the stadium, we can turn to you, right? We don't have cash and. Uh, you got it wrong. You got the wrong person. <laughs> Maybe I, I got to go talk to Dirk. I you, say you, uh, I can, you know what? I can help out with the stadium. I'll give you uh, one week of the white paint. <laughs> okay. <I'll> <laughs> Maybe you're not a painter for the There you go. Painting the end zone. Here we go. John That's Hardy. probably like, oh, so yeah. Okay. Well, would you really want to? That's $1 million. <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm not even a Panthers fan. <laughs> Just play. Go Panthers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and whenever Tony's in tomorrow, he'll be saying, go, you That's know. Right. That's, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's going to be roll tide. Oh, okay. All right. We're, We're going right. to T-Town. Yeah. Look out. Look yeah. out. Yeah. Don't don't make a mistake saying the name Clemson around that. Oh, I know. You, know, you don't want to do anything like Trust that. Me. Trust so what's me. in the future for you? Anything you want to tell everybody about that you're getting ready to do? Uh, we're going on my headline tour in the fall. Got Riley Green coming out with us, and uh, Josh Ward and Lainey Wilson is going to be on a couple shows in Texas, and Tyler Rich is going to be on some shows with me too. So Riley couldn't do the whole tour, so we kind of uh, filled some people in, which is exciting. And, and then next year, me and, my, me and my band, we're going to go play. We're not going on tour with anybody. We feel like it's our time to go hit some festivals, go do some honky tonking, go back and kind of restart that because the past four years we played like a lot of the same theaters and, and I think we want to get out and go as I would say go go play some people's backyards so when I say that it's like the fairs and, and not a little bit backyard but like where they don't have to go sometimes you got to go an hour or two hours it's closer to, to I don't know maybe I I don't know what the hell get a little closer to the fans so, you know, I think it won't be as too hard to come see me next year. Yeah, yeah. And I get a longer set, and a lot of fans want to hear more songs yeah. that they love listening to from the B-Sides, the first record, and especially now the new record, Heart Medication, and of course, California Sunrise, all them songs. So there's a lot of songs that fans want to hear that they don't get to play in 55 minutes. Well, so just keep doing what you're doing and keep bringing us to great country music. Okay, my friend, appreciate it. Just get ready. <laughs> September 27th, my album comes out. John Pardee.